Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in for my part two video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys today part two of my round two BBL and tummy tuck. If you guys saw my first video, thank you so much for watching it. Um, I know my footage wasn't as much as I wanted it to be. Honestly, I underestimated the surgery. It was really hard and you're kind of out of it. You're feeling like shit. So thanks for watching, even though it wasn't the best video, the best footage. I'm trying my best. I'm new to this YouTube stuff, so I'm going to do my best on this one too. So this is something that I never addressed. My first surgery I had in Santa Monica with Dr. Kenneth Hughes. I just had a BBL, nothing else. The way I found him was through Wendy Lee. I believe that's how you say her name. She's a YouTuber, Instagrammer. She's really funny. I really like her. Um, and I really liked her results. Now, just going into surgery and thinking you're going to get the best results with a BBL isn't what's going to happen. And that's basically what happened to me. I needed it around two. But I felt like I wanted to go to with someone that was more not educated but that his work was more hourglass big hips big butt i really wanted that look and i felt like that's not what i got in the beginning with dr hughes so i ended up going to viva med spa in tijuana mexico and i went with dr guadalajara his real name i believe is dr felix marquez but if you look him up dr guadalajara that's his name the reason why I found him was through a friend. She ended up going to Viva to get her lips done. I loved her results, so I ended up going to get my lips done. And when I went, I saw how legit their office was, and there was a bunch of girls who had just got out of surgery with Dr. Guadalajara. They were there for their checkup. All their bodies were amazing, so I was like, I need a consultation here. Like, I need to see what's up. So I basically went back for a consultation with Dr. Sergio Verdusco. He is amazing. He's so nice. You can just tell the difference with the first doctor and the last doctor. Um, I'm not here to put no one on blast, but the first doctor that I went to, he wasn't as nice, as open, as willing to answer questions as Dr. Verdusco was. He didn't make me feel uncomfortable or like I was bugging and knowing there was a room full of girls. He didn't make you feel like your consultation was rushed. He answered every question and he guaranteed me the results I wanted. Right away, I put my deposit down. I was sold. I put my deposit down, and um, obviously, before I went into consultation, I did a background checks on Viva Spa and Dr. Verdusco and Dr. Felix um, Guadalajara, and I saw nothing but good results. So that's why when I went in feeling comfortable, I put the deposit down. So the deposit was down. My surgery was ready for November 2nd of 2019. I was so scared to go to TJ to get a surgery. That's why in the beginning I went to Santa Monica because I just felt a little safer. But I spent less and TJ got better results and I loved it. I loved it. And if you're worried about you don't speak um, Spanish, there is people there that speak English. So there's a nurse that's there um, that's making food. I don't know if she's a nurse. I think she's actually just the cook. So there's someone there just dedicated to making food. I really recommend staying there, especially if you're going to get a tummy tuck. You need someone there cleaning your incisions, uh, making sure you're okay if anything like is going on in your body. There are actually nurses that are there 24-7. Another thing that I really liked is they help you shower if you need help showering and um, using the restroom. Let's be real, you're going to need help. Um, medicine, they were on it. You never had to worry about, you know, oh, I, did I miss my medicine? They would come to you wherever you were at in the home, give you your medicine. You had a little buzzer, which was really cool that... You would buzz and then they would come in the room and see if you needed anything. Um, I was in the princess room. That's what it was called. It was a room all the way at the end. We had our own restroom and shower in there. There was three beds and I was with two other girls. Um, they're both bomb bitches. I don't want to say their names because I don't know how they would feel. But they're both bomb and they're both so pretty. And we all had amazing surgery results. Um, it's pretty cool watching you know them post pictures of themselves and being like damn like i remember when we were in the room looking like shit hating life but it's all worth it so i hope you guys enjoy the video any questions like i said you guys can always link them down below Que no 
This is the recovery home. That's my closet. This is my bed. Princess bed number three. And the nurses are so nice already. So a quick little update. This is my night one at the recovery house. I have not been able to eat anything. So she made me a quesadilla with avocado. <sighs> I'm just drinking water. Um, I still have my medicine ball in. Let me show you guys. So it's a ball and it's medicine. Uh, I just feel like shit. So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to sleep. Oh, pues, no, tuve que, tuve que toser. Hey guys, so today's day four. This is my room where I've been staying. This is my little bed. I just started drinking these today. I bought these on my on my own. Um, my last BBL, the doctor recommended them, so I just brought them again for when I'm hungry. They do feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we just had breakfast. I had apples, yogurt, and granola, and I got a little hungry, so I ate this. Um, sleeping has been probably the worst. If you're getting surgery here, I highly recommend staying in this recovery home. Especially if you're getting a tummy tuck. It's so good. They treat you like a fucking queen. They come in every day, clean your incisions properly. Um, they wash your faja every day, so you switch them out your fajas. They help you shower, they help you go to the restroom. Um, you have a little buzzer for if you need help. They come and assist you. They're super, super nice. So I highly recommend it. Um, recovery has not been easy, but it's every day it gets easier. And I know because in the beginning, I was unable to lift my legs on my own. And now I can lift my legs. So little by little, I'm getting there. Um, tomorrow, I believe I'm going to get my first massage. So I'm a little nervous, but... I'll let you guys know. I haven't really been able to like post footage of when they're cleaning my incisions and stuff. But I will try to hopefully by the next couple days. It's just hard because I don't have no one to help me record. But okay, just checking in. This is what it looks like watching Netflix. Bye. So this is one of the meals for lunch that we're having. Veggies, meat, rice, and pineapple juice. And I, we usually eat in the kitchen, but I asked to eat in the room today because my back hurts so bad. Just wanted to show you guys. Hey guys, so today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, which makes it one week post-op my surgery. I'm outside of the recovery home, this is what it looks like. It's so nice, and everyone here is so fucking nice. I just came out to get some fresh air. Um, ¿cuál otra? Nadie. Nadie. Okay.
te duelen. Sí, te dolió. Un poquito. Sí, ya vi. <risa> Lo siento. Ya se ve tu cuadrito, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Permítanme el otro. Ah, que se que se. Ah, no, pero este es menos de 25. Esa casa cuando yo era niña, pero si fueron después del incendio. Ay, te hueles. Hey guys, it's me. So tomorrow is two weeks post-op, my tummy tuck and round two BBL. Um, I haven't really made much videos on the daily just because this surgery has been definitely way harder than the last one, my first BBL. Um, in four days I was able to like get up and clean my house and all that. This one has been way... I definitely underestimated it. It's been crazier, it's been harder, um, there's been a lot more pain. I finally feel way better today. I'm able to kind of stand straight for the last couple um, of days. I've just been hunched back like this, which that really hurts your back too. Um, let me show you guys a little bit how it's looking. You obviously can't really see because I have my faja, but you can definitely see I have more hips. This faja is super tight, so um, I think once I get to my um, stage 2 faja, you'll be able to like start seeing my figure more. My stomach is pretty flat, it's just really swollen still, but I love my results. He definitely gave me what I wanted. Definitely going back for him to do my boobs. I'm just so happy. This is from the scar. Um, Every day I have to clean it and it like passes through, but luckily they give you two fajas. So tonight what I'm do is take off this faja, clean my incisions, um, hand wash this one, and I already have another one that's um, clean and I put the clean one on. So I'm switching them off every day so I don't feel nasty. Tomorrow I go see the doctor and hopefully they take my drains out. This is what my drains look like. I have two, I have one in the front and one in the back. Um, I was all sad when they sent me home with them. I really thought they would take them out over there, but I was draining so much that they said I had to come home with them for another week. This is the one in the back. And honestly, at first I was really sad. I was like, fuck, I don't want to go home with drains. But the way I was draining this whole week was a lot, and I was so happy because all of that is coming out of my body. Like, who doesn't want that out of their body? So I was actually really happy um tomorrow like i said i go to see the doctor it's gonna be my two-week post-op visit so i'm gonna be recording as much as i can um it's kind of hard when i don't have someone there recording for me so we'll see how this goes but they're so busy there especially on saturdays so i'm gonna do my best okay so today is two weeks post-op my tummy tuck lipo 360 bbl i have phones in so that's why it looks a little like I have a fupa, but I came in to see if they're gonna remove my drains. I still have two drains. Hopefully they do, I'm praying they do, because they're so annoying. This is what my back looks like. Remember, this is the second two BBO. Now, my butt is still really hard. It still needs to fluffen up and stuff, but that gives it a couple months. Since I came in, I got filler on my lips. I got around two filler on my lips. I did Botox on my forehead. And I got filler on my chin to give me that like slim look. I'm still super swollen on my lips, so I look crazy. But once the swelling goes down, I really, I know I'm gonna love the results. Dr. Mario at Viva Plastic Surgery. Viva Med Spa is the bomb. I love him. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for the nurse to come in to check me out. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope if you guys are getting surgery anytime soon or are thinking about it or just had any, like, curiosity of what it's like, that this video helped you guys. And I hope you guys stay tuned for any of my future videos.